there was a baby missing and then took three hours for them to even tell us that they found her and it's like a tragedy. Gwen Riley lives across the street from the South Avenue home that went up in flames late Friday night. She was helping the family of 13 children stay safe when they realized the family's seven-year-old daughter was missing. They thought I had her, but I didn't have her. I only had like four of the others, so I didn't have the baby. By the time the family realized the girl was still inside, it was too late. The fire was advancing. At first, just the back of the house was on fire. Then by the time they got here, the middle of the house was on fire. And then the next thing you know, the whole back end engulfed them. Riley says it took the Niagara Falls Fire Department almost 10 minutes to respond. The police was running back and forth asking what was taking the fire department so long. Riley says once firefighters got there, the fire was out in about an hour. The American Red Cross has offered to help. We're going to provide funding for temporary housing, uh, for food and clothing to kind of get back on your feet a little bit. In addition to the basic necessities, a spokesman for the Red Cross says the nonprofit also strives to provide emotional support during tragedies like this. Some disaster mental health volunteers available for them to just kind of help them with the emotional aspect of what's just happened. Help that's needed after a shocking night. It was just numbing, mind numbing. I mean, to realize that you don't have one of the children. It's just hard. According to a neighbor, the fire looked like it began in the back end of the house where the kitchen is, with police still investigating to find out the exact cause of the fire. From Niagara Falls, Jeff Slauson, 7 Eyewitness News.